All right, we are going live now. Welcome, welcome. Uh, glad for you to drop on by. So, going to be, uh, as the title says, going to be back on Rocky Mountain Valley again. Um, already went in and started the game up, and I was actually trying to get um, all the workers kicked up and going through course play, but it was taking a real long time loading. I should have started that a lot sooner, but anyhow... Um, I got two guys going right now. You'll just have to kind of bear with me as I get the rest going. So uh, let's uh, get the game stream up. And we're going to hop back into it and get a little sound out of the deal. Hopefully my audio levels aren't too bad. Um, I did change over a little bit of my streaming software. <clears throat> I went from uh, just plain OBS to Streamlabs OBS. So hopefully that won't be too bad. Like I said, I'm trying to get all these guys kicked up and going, get them back to work. Here today, I let them do their, <clears throat> let everybody else do a job for once. Um, I might do some other work. Of course, obviously, I got a harvester. I still got a fire up <clears throat> and a sugar beet harvester as well. So I'll get them two going. Plus, once the uh, harvester that I have, I believe he's on field 26 I think he's getting canola I can't remember anyways when he gets done I plan on moving that harvester out um, I'm still gonna keep the harvester I'm gonna just take it and park it at my shop or the, the uh, farm I mean I got a new harvester the other day um, that why in the world it turned like that get that back straight halfway straight at least <clears throat> Uh, so I got another harvester the other day, and the uh, it's identical to this one right here. Nothing different, um, except um, the very tail of it has not only a hookup to pull a trailer, but it also has a PTO on it. And so far I like that because I can be harvesting, say, wheat, drop straw, have a loading wagon or a bale or whatever I want on the back end of it and <clears throat> you know be double duty in the work unfortunately um, I was testing that over on the Wild West map that I've been playing on a little bit in my free time um, and with a plain Jane worker just your standard AI helpers um, it wouldn't do nothing it wouldn't say that they were finished or blocked or nothing. They just, it wouldn't accept a helper. So it doesn't like that loading wagon, which, if I'm remembering correctly, that's probably more the loading wagon settings than anything else. But, you know, if I want to actually do the work myself, then, um, yeah, I can just double duty it and be done with it. So we got one more guy to deal with here. Out which one he's in. Oh, that's the tipper. I think it's sugar beets. Oh, well, it helps if I go to sugar beet, not sugar cane. Sorry about that. I um, got a new little program there to play with. Um, that course started. <coughs> so I went ahead and re downloaded the vehicle explorer, is what they call it. Um, in 17, um, it's supposed to be a variation of what was in 17. In 17, it was called a vehicle group switcher. Um, compared to having nothing to that, I'd rather have that. It makes it a lot easier to find vehicles. If you've watched any of my videos, it could get annoying um, of me tabbing and tabbing and tabbing looking for a vehicle only to accidentally tab past it and then have to go through the whole stupid list again. Or to tab into a vehicle that's right beside it and realized I could just jump out and walked over. Um, hitting the escape menu to, to go jump into a vehicle, in my opinion, is not as convenient. Um, but that's just personal reasons, you know. But anyhow, we're going to finish getting this one fired up. He's almost ready to, once it loads, this is the last one to get going on course play. And... 
while they're working, um, might go ahead and go grab that new harvester and we'll figure out where to park it at. The old harvester, uh, the reason I'm going to keep it is because it will harvest loose cotton. Um, it will need a header. Matter of fact, I might just grab it while I'm there if it's not too large. Just go ahead and cart it over to the farm and get it part. I'm going to test that out the next time I have a field of cotton to harvest and see how I like that. Um, I don't under the cotton capacity. I don't know what the actual capacity will be as far as numbers are concerned. So it'll be a testing. Um, anyway, you slice it. I'm still going to be keeping that whole mod pack because I'm using the placeable that allows me to store the loose cotton. Um, one good thing about this map is it does accept loose cotton at a, a cell point that I know of. There might be more, but I know it's at the one cell point. So, um, and I'd like to also apologize that I have not been active here lately. Um, I did make a post this morning on Facebook, I believe it was this morning, that I hadn't been active. And, yeah, life got busy, you know. Um, for those of y'all don't know, I, I drive a truck for a living. Um, currently not driving actually a semi-truck, I'm actually driving a pickup, but I do local work in it, and most of them days, you know, I leave here at 7.30 in the morning my time, and I may not get off till 9, 10, 11 o'clock at night, so by the time I come home, I most of the time don't even get on a game if it's that late. I uh, might look at Facebook or watch a YouTube video for a little while, and then it's off to bed. And that's five days a week. Um, my roommate was home for um, a couple of weeks, and so I was kind of hanging out with him and all that good fun junk. So I just didn't get a chance to do any kind of videos at all. I did play a little bit. Um, this past weekend, I didn't hardly get to play at all until Sunday night. Um, I worked, we had what we call month end, and I, uh, I had to work all day Friday, and I worked until almost 2 o'clock in the morning, Saturday morning, Friday night, and then only got a few hours of sleep and came back into work and um, worked up until 10 o'clock that night, and then had to, and then I got about six hours of sleep, so I was so dog tired that I kept, you know, missing my alarms. And uh, Sunday ended up being a pretty easy day. I only worked up until 12 o'clock. I think I worked about four hours. Um, and then we were done early, so I was surprised about that. Typically, we don't even work Sunday, and if we work Saturdays, it's only a half a day, usually done by 12 one. So, so again, I apologize that I haven't put any content out. Um, had anything really going on. <clears throat> wow, this course is taking forever to load. This is what I was trying to do before I started the stream. Um, this also, the stream will be, um, it's being live broadcasted on Twitch, and I'll re-upload it later to YouTube um, after the video ends. Um, we might go a little longer than an hour, just because simple fact that uh, it's taking so long for these to load, y'all ain't getting to really see much. Um, I can't even move the screen. I don't know if you can. No, you can't even see my mouse right now. Right now, I just got the the, the wheel of circle going right now. Um, so typically, you can see my mouse, but the one thing that I've I've been having issues with the last time I was really playing this map was I was having a lot problems with long loading times to get into the game and long loading times of course play and it's all ruled back to course play itself um, I, I went to load the game one day uh, while my roommate was home and <clears throat> I spent a half an hour in the living room talking to him because <clears throat> the um, game took almost a half an hour to load once I got into the game, every vehicle, like the one that you're just staring at right now, the courses were all loaded already up. I never closed down the courses. So it was not only loading the map, but it was also loading all the courses that I had pre-selected or had never closed. So now I'm having to make it a habit to make sure not only do I stop the vehicle, but I close out the course 
and then shut my game down. I gotta do that for every vehicle. So, and I think currently we're gonna have five vehicles running on course play, and then I'm gonna be riding around in a dump truck emptying them all out. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any other things I've added. Um, I have been messing around with trailers to move primarily the harvester. Um, the one that's over on 26 right now. That harvester's only got a top speed of 32, which is pretty peppy for a harvester if you want to compare it to real life. And naturally, you wouldn't want to make long distance drives in that. <clears throat> and on this game, it's brutally long, especially on this map. So I played around with some trailers one day, trying to find something good for it to haul it on. Um, I was wanting something that it would strap to. Um, unfortunately, it seems like none of the equipment even straps to it. I even tried just a plain old tractor, in-game tractors. I couldn't get nothing to strap to any of these trailers. So, <laughs> I messed around with one behemoth of a trailer on this map. Uh, if you are on my Facebook group, um, not group, but page, um, I did post a picture on there. And I think I did pull it one time with that, and it was just too much. Um, if anybody's familiar with the trucking industry and the style of trailers we have out here, it was one of the basically super haul trailers, what we call a 3x3x3, three by three by three, which is totals out to a total of nine axles. And looks cool on the game and, you know, has the oversized banners and all that stuff, but it was too much. It was too much trailer for making the turns. Um, it actually... Funny part is I actually did a, what I called a little convoy. So I, I had it all loaded up and ready to roll, and I was using Follow Me and the pickup truck that I have that I pull a gooseneck trailer with the header on it. Um, it's the slowest truck and, and part of the little convoy that I was rolling. So I used it as a lead truck and then was just setting the cruise about 20 mile an hour. And the Follow Me helper in the semi-truck with that super trailer, it did one heck of a job. I was surprised that it did what it did. It was funny because watching in the distance, because I had my camera turned backwards, the follower driving the tractor, pulling the lo had a loading wagon he was pulling, kept getting lost and swerving back and forth and hit a car head on at one point. Um, but yeah, the follower, um, the, the follow me AI actually did pretty damn good. Um, <clears throat> he even managed to make one of the turns pretty decent and didn't get hung up on the railroad track, but I have had that try to get hung up on a railroad track. Um, it's still on my mod list. Matter of fact, when we go to the shop, I'll, uh, I'll pull that up and show you what, what I was thinking about using. Um, I can slim it down, but the other reason that I also picked to not use it is I have a trailer that is a, I have two variations. One that's a tandem axle and the other one's a triadum axle. And they both work exactly the same other than one has one more axle. And the thing that's nice about it, um, when you've got the trailer selected hooked up to the truck, you press X and it will kick out boards on the sides to give you more width to, for the tires. The big, huge trailer, I could have slimmed it down and removed the what they call the stinger, which is the last piece of the trailer, and then the Jeep, which is what's connected to the front of the trailer. And it just been a three axle low boy, but it doesn't have the boards that poke out. <clears throat> so a harvester will get on there barely, but with it not being able to be tied down, um, you hit the wrong bump, sideswipe a car, whatever, it's going to end up hanging halfway off the trailer, and then you got to figure out to get it fixed. I'm sorry, I know I'm just kind of rattling on here, but what else can I do while this is loading? This is still loading this course. I mean, what is this taking? Almost five minutes. I really do apologize for this. Um, I'll try to, when I reload this to YouTube, I'll try to put some comments down in the description of uh, maybe a better time to uh, start watching the video, you know, a little time frame. Because, I mean, the video is 15 minutes in right now, and I'm pretty sure y'all want to see more than just me staring at a... Uh, it's not really even a harvester, I'm not even sure what to call it. That's a Terados, I know that. I guess it falls under the same class as a harvester, but it's different. 
So, I don't know, I've asked this before, but um, is there any other content you guys might be interested in? Um, I mean, I am playing on other maps, um, but mainly right now it's mostly this map, and from time to time I go jump on the Wild West map. Um, I do keep up with the new maps that come out. I'm not quite on top of it, but I do try to keep an out for new maps, and I do try them out, and I'll play around on them. You know, sometimes I get on there and I play for maybe an hour or two, and it, it just isn't quite my thing. I keep the map. You never know. You might get an itch and try it again. You know, sometimes, you know, the first round ain't always the best. Um... But the uh, Wild West map that Kaz came out with, um, I'm sure most of y'all would be familiar with it, but if you're not, it's like this map. It's a 16x map. Um, it doesn't have quite as large fields. It does have one humongous field that probably puts these fields to shame. But the, it has a lot of fields, and these fields are very roomy. I uh, This morning when I got up, I was just trying to wake up and... Well, normally I'd have a cup of coffee for breakfast, but I didn't this morning. Um, so just kind of waking up and whatnot, I got on there and I decided to personally harvest a field using that harvester with the loading wagon and whatnot. And I was harvesting a field of clover. And if you've never field, did a harvest of clover on a multi-fruit map, if you enable straw, it actually puts out a swath of grass. So I was doing that, and uh, it's a beautiful map. Um, sadly, I was doing it in the dark, and it was just hard to see. With the, the spread of that header that I'm using, um, the lights just doesn't get out to the ends very good. But it's, uh, <clears throat> it's a nice little map. <clears throat> I've been going through and... Uh, in a way, I almost hope Kaz doesn't hear me say this. I've been removing all the trees. I've been logging as much of it as I can. Um, I like the trees. Really, I do. But uh, there's a lot of trees that are in the way. Um, they're real close to the field. It interferes with the AI helpers and things like that. So um, I started going through and, and just one field at a time, just doing the circle around the field and chopping the trees down and uh you know just that sort of thing um i started out logging them i went and got a, the the scorpion king um came across a tree that i couldn't harvest because it said i think the trunk was too thick i thought it said the tree was too thick so i got the other one the red one i can't remember what it's called and uh was able to continue on with it and then i got bored with it after a while and I finally just said, you know what, F this, you know. And I have a stump grinder that is a all-in-one machine. And if you're not careful, it will delete a whole tree for you. And I just took that to my advantage and just went down a whole row and just deleted all the trees more or less and grinded them out. And then after a while of doing that, that got boring. And I got to thinking, I'm like, you know, I'm wasting a lot of money. On that map, I was taking logs, a trailer load of logs, and I'm using an auto log. Auto, uh, dang, I can't even talk today. Using a uh, auto loader trailer, um, log trailer, and I get a nice little load on it. It'd be a little tall, and I was netting around fifty thousand a load. So I was like, man, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not making no money. All I'm doing is just wasting money deleting all these trees. So. I started doing that and re-went re back and bought all my equipment again and started logging again. So that's that's been a little bit of a fun excavate. I cannot believe how long it's taken this course to load. I did update my course play here a couple of weeks ago. Actually, it was when my roommate came home. Um, and that's when I noticed the loading times got slower. And I'm wondering if I need to go back and see if there's another update to course play. It seems to update just about every day. I might need to get another course play or go back to an older version. So far, the, the, the newer versions are fixing small problems that you don't really see unless you use it for that reason. 
Um, it's one of those things that's kind of hard to explain. One issue that I'm having with course play right now, if you look at the, the top of this box, this black box in the middle of the screen here, it's got white buttons across the top. There's that one that's lit up green because that's the folder I'm in. The one all the way to the left, it looks like a trailer with an exclamation mark. That's actually a, a combine um, tab um, to change some settings in there. And then if, you've, if you're not familiar with course play, if you are, I'm sorry if I'm repeating stuff you might already know. But with course play, you can take and set up a tipper to unload these harvesters. Um, and with course play, it works pretty nice. Um, at least it did back in 17. Um, this this harvester here, once it fills up, it'll be it'll have about a million liters. I mean, a, not a million. Yeah, no, I'm right. A million liters, and that's what my dump trucks hold. And so what I was going to do is I was going to set up a course just for this field to unload this guy, and then merge it with another course to go and unload it at the grain elevator, you know, my, my storage elevator, and then drive it back and then wait to unload him again. But unfortunately, it's not recognizing that as a, as a combine. And I thought, well, maybe it's a piece of equipment. So I went over to a different field, which is the one with the regular harvester with that large header on it, and thought, okay, I'll get this guy to do it. The same story. It never recognized that there was a combine in that field. So, either A, I'm not doing something right, B, they may have changed something, or C, it just don't work. But, as far as, like, regular transporting, it works fine. I mean, I could set up a course, <coughs> excuse me, to go from, you know, the edge of the field um, to my storage and then back, and then that would uh, specify, but... Kind of defeats the idea, in my opinion. Might as well let him do the whole job if he's going to do some of it. You know, why make the man just hold the shovel? Make him do the digging, too, right? <clears throat> wow, I really apologize for this. I really should have been thinking a lot more ahead. I should have had all these courses loaded, or heck, I should have maybe just did this one myself. Let everybody else do some work, and then I do some work. But wow, this is taking forever. One thing I have learned with not just course play in general, but more farming simulator in general. If the game is freezed up, like right now it's technically froze up. The way my mouse has got the wheel, it doesn't, I mean the circle... That's not a farming simulator circle. That's a Microsoft terminal circle for, for an application that's not responding. Um, and I've learned with farming simulator, if it freezes up, you need to try to do whatever it takes, if it means waiting an hour for it to um, start responding again. If you close the game out, Alt-Tab out, Control-Alt-Delete, whatever, um, it will most of the time ruin your your save game. It will actually just delete the files. You'll come, you'll go, okay. I'll just control alt delete. I'll come back to the game. I'll pop back in my map. I've lost 30 minutes worth of work. I'll go back to work. No big deal. <coughs> in reality, you'll come back in and your save game is gone. The slot that it was in is just empty. You can start a new one there. Now, <coughs> I have learned over time that. There's a way to get that back. Um, there are auto saves and such like that that are saved onto the computer. Um, your last save and things like that. But it's knowing where to find those files and where to put those files. Um, and I'm thinking about doing videos of stuff like that. Um, I'm not a know-it-all when it comes to this stuff. I have done a little bit of modding. It's more editing than anything else. I have changed up stuff. Um, I have tried to convert vehicles to do things that they're not supposed to do. Um, well, in real life, they are supposed to do. Um, in 17, I had a flatbed that had an autoload feature for bales and whatnot. And it was a basket case when I got it. I redid it, um, even reskinned it, retextured it, 
<clears throat> made it a great looking trailer and then I thought man this thing would be cool to use with the factories on these factory maps so I went through and I, I made a copy of it and renamed it to something different and no matter what I did I could not figure out how to get rid of the script off that thing I went through XML after XML and everything in the world oh there we go finally all right so I've wasted about 20 minutes of y'all's life roughly maybe more if you've been sitting well heck we've been going 25 minutes now uh, so yeah there's some things I don't know how to do um, maybe buying getting a flatbed that way um, and then <clears throat> You know, getting the flatbed that way without any kind of scripts on it, and that way I could have added the script might have been a lot easier because I have added a script to a box trailer to do the, the, the factory crap. So, all right. Well, enough yakking about stuff for the moment. Let's, uh, this is the, the vehicle list. Unfortunately, um, if you can see my mouse, the, uh, my glance is kind of covered up. I did blow the, the, uh, glance up there's a way to go in and do that and uh, if there's demand for me explaining some of this stuff I can come through it so you can't really read the top vehicle there um, technically that's actually the one we're gonna go jump in probably here in a minute um, yeah this here so um, <clears throat> if you do run this program on your um, maps um, it's pretty easy it's pretty basic um, from their um, page if you actually scroll down after you download it they've got it typed out what all the controls do and I believe some of them are well it's overlapping let's see yeah some of them let's see if I still have my mouse yeah, I do yeah all right so you got where it says VEX or VEEX that is for the vehicle Explorer there's four up here right now and if I so just jump out of this guys maybe get away from me hold on yeah I see a whole bunch more stuff popped up there but anyhow um, they, they got a list on there what to do but it's it's left alt and then V pulls up that box and then you can actually just use your mouse wheel to go up and down and as you can see it's kind of an orange just red I'm in the trains right there the blue ones are um, hired by workers so um, figure out what where this truck is at so to get in the vehicle you left click it and boom you're in it and yep this one's parked by the potato the uh, sugar beet field I forgot what we were harvesting here and then just to close this back out it's the same thing as to open it alt V and it's done or left alt V I mean and I was messing with this earlier you can actually uh, when you have this box up you can right click which sadly right clicking opens course play and see how it turned that red I can move that around and reorder where I want to put that stuff and I right click to confirm it so close that get rid of that box we don't need that <coughs> yeah I think we're gonna go a little bit longer than an hour um, I've been live for 45 minutes, but I actually came on about 30 minutes ago. So, um, but we lost about 15 minutes just looking at course play, waiting for it to do its thing. So, I don't know, we might run over about 15 to 30 minutes. We're going to see. So far, I've already got one missed call on my phone. So, unless, as long as my phone doesn't keep, you know, start blowing up, we'll be doing good. So let's see here. Now our sugar beets is 74%. He's going to need to be unloaded here in a minute. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull our map up. Let's see what we need to harvest and all that good fun stuff. Right now I'm still only owning pretty much one equipment per what I call group area. So field one is going to be its own group. It's going to have its own equipment that it's going to use. <coughs> and... Field 6 and 7 definitely is going to have their own equipment as well that they're going to share um, because of this little road, if you can see on my mouse. That road is nothing but squiggles. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. It it doesn't even, I mean, it shows you squiggling all the way up this thing. It's a mountain grade is what you're doing. 
it is a chore to get equipment up there. Um, I, when I bought the cedar to put it up there, I um, ended up I ended up using teleport. I cheated, but um, I got it up there. I already made the drive up there. Getting a harvester up there, I did it on with the uh, regular tandem axle trailer I was talking about, and it was very hard um, with the traffic on. So if I had to do that again, I'd definitely turn off track it, traffic. But let's see here. We pretty much have all of our harvesters working right now. Like I said, I've thought about adding more because like 32, 33, we take the same harvester as what's on 26. I think 28's the same way. Um, so that's about all the harvesting we can do right now. Um, we've got a plow up here on, on field 9. He, that's where we started at. Uh, that was the second course I loaded in. And uh, that's going to need lime afterwards. Yep. And that limer is over on 24 right now. Like I said, as large as this map is, I'm probably going to have to start doubling up on equipment. Um, and obviously, if I ever get this map into a multiplayer group, if anybody you know, was to join me, I'd definitely have to buy more equipment. I mean, money is not an issue. I Sadly, I cheated in a bunch of money to get this map going. And that way, I could just have the equipment I wanted. So, but that's what our fields are looking like right now. We got to plow this after this guy gets done. And that's going to be a chore. I think 31, that looks like it's about the biggest field on here. It's a huge field. Nine's pretty large too. Between the two, I think 31 is still the largest. So, anyhow, let's put that back on growth. Because I don't think we can harvest anything else right now. What we can do, well... What we can do is go unload the sugar beet harvester. He's about full. And we're probably on the wrong end of the field for him. So. Yes, I actually drive the equipment. <laughs> Doesn't happen often, does it? I love these little dump trucks. Especially after I upgraded the amount that this, these things will hold. I'm just going to chase this guy because you don't get much of a choice. Uh, this is probably where a wheel would be really good. Have a steady throttle. I tried doing this with follow me one day could never get the follow me player to, to do it right because he kept looking at that header. Oh, we're full. All right, let's go dump this. He kept getting um, confused by that header sticking out. That header, the outer pieces don't have any hit detection on them, but he didn't know that. So let's run up here, get this unloaded. We're gonna go unload that canola. We do that, we're gonna go to the shop. We're gonna go shopping. Let's see here, let's, let's jump the railroad track, but let's not do it Dukes of Hazard style today. I did that one day and ended up upside down. Only time you can drive a truck, flip it over, never lose your product, just flip it back over and go back to work. Makes life convenient. Wow, that bird was loud in my ear for a second. <clears throat> also, too, for you guys that are that are watching, whether it's here on Twitch or um, when I let load it up onto YouTube, if any of the levels are too loud, either me, I'm too loud, the gameplay is too loud, um, let me know so I can adjust the audio levels. <clears throat> also, too, I have been looking at some copyright free music because me when I play I have my music player running in the background but with copyright laws that's kind of a challenge because on Twitch you can kind of get away with it kind of but on YouTube 
they'll pop it for copyright and they will mute the whole thing and you won't ever get to hear me talk let alone hear the equipment or just the game in general and the trees are a pain I love the way they look I just don't love the way they hang out wish I could move them I probably could but I'm not going to gonna do is we're gonna get this truck parked down here <coughs> that way it's ready or kind of ready to unload again and we gotta go jump in the other truck uh, but so what I was saying about music um, I did go through and I was listening to um, some copyright free music that I can um, play that's supposedly copyright free. Now I've heard of people having issues with it but I uh, I don't know for sure. I think this guy's full. Yeah he's full. And he's on his last pass too. We gotta hurry up to go get that harvester. So that's this guy unloaded real quick. <coughs> so I may add some of that music. It's kind of elevator music in a way, but I'm trying to find some stuff that sounds kind of cool or uh, if anything, just alive in the background a little bit because, yeah, that's, you know, it's kind of boring without the music right now, in my opinion. So let's, uh, Oh no, he's not almost done. He's still got that to do. Let's uh, let's go park just in the grass. And I really love the wood textures of that right there. That looks cool. That's a sail area, I believe. Let's take a walk over real fast. Yeah, my map is showing some sail areas right here. So, but I mean, look at these buildings. I mean that, you know wood look right there I just think that's cool I love the way it looks I just noticed something right there I don't know if this is a part of just a decoration but I'm sure y'all remember that if y'all played 17 on any kind of factory map that was usually part beside those roller things where you would load up stuff obviously that's not wood you haul because that's a glitching a little too um, hmm. or if there was like a future plan added for it but I just love the texture of this you know I mean close up it doesn't look the wildest but man from a distance it looks really good let's jump this pallet storage so I wonder if they've got plans to maybe add a pallet mill right here. There's plenty of room for it. Plenty of room. Hmm. And I saw a sign somewhere this way. Forgive me how I'm doing this. I'm using my mouse too. <clears throat> but I seen well, there's a sign right here. That says carton storage. And uh Hey, Modder, what's going on, man? Oh, cool, cool. Um, hey, I'll, what I'll do is I'll, um, I'm going to be running this stream for probably about another half hour, a little bit more, man. And uh, when I get done, I'll, uh, I'll grab that, get it downloaded, and I'll check it out for you, man. How you been? It also says carton factory. See, it's got the rollers right here. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know for sure on this, but uh, definitely cool. But I love the way these buildings look. I like that rustic wood look. Um, it's a little flashy, but I still like it. But, uh, yeah, it looks like there's probably eventually going to be a pallet factory here. I walked right through that. <laughs> All right, let's uh, 
Let's go to the shop. <clears throat> yeah, I hear you, Modder. Yeah, I've been busy with work, and I hadn't been on here in probably two weeks between work was crazy, my roommate was home, so I was kind of hanging out with him and doing stuff, so. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> I understand what you mean about busy. My truck is broke down this week, so I'm waiting on parts. It's supposed to be here today. <clears throat> All right, um, before we go grab that harvester, I will show you that trailer I was talking about. Um, the one I'm currently using is this one right here. It's, uh, I did put this lead the tandem. No, it is the tritum. Yeah, that's the three axle. The sides kick out on it. It works pretty good for hauling a harvester on. Um, this one down here, you buy this complete package. This is a beast. This is a behemoth. Um, I love it. It's cool. I used to do oversized loads, but it doesn't have the wood coming out of the sides. The that you can stick out the sides. So, um, so yeah, I um, I like it, but it's it's semi unrealistic in a way because um, I don't know if I can zoom into this thing or not. Oh, well, let me zoom. Nope. Um, anyhow, on the sides here about where this tape is right here. In real life, there's deals that pivot outward. They turn about 90 degrees and face straight away from the trailer. And you could lay like a, like a two by 12 along the sides, on both sides, to give you that extra width. But anyhow, that's what I tried using and that did not work with the crap. So, <clears throat> so anyhow, I have the Iconic. That's the one that's on the field right now. I actually have three of them bad boys out there, so I only got two to replace. Um, this one here I picked up, and that's another thing I forgot to mention, that it runs a heck of a lot faster down the street, too. It only comes in the tracks, from what I can tell, but it's got a huge capacity level. I'm just going to buy it anyways, right? And we're going to put the big motor in it. Uh, we'll leave the wheels alone. It only comes in the track. I'm not wild about the track, but check this out. It's got the PTO on the back, so that makes it a little bit easier if you're manhandling everything by yourself. You can get a loading wagon back there or whatever you got to do. So we're going to grab three of these. So we need one for all the fields. I'll get the other two parked up there later. And then the other thing I wanted to look at was the headers. I'm trying to remember where the cotton header was not there should not be under this no I hope it's not under corn oh yeah and that that uh <clears throat> the harvester I just bought did come with some other headers and stuff that's a 12 meter header for that and let's see a grain header yeah it came with this one as well this is the big one we're running right now let's see cotton yeah, here we are. Here's the cotton headers. And there's the trailers, too. <clears throat> so I've got this trailer hooked to a semi-truck. It works great. Uh, that's just a smaller variation, more or less. That's 28 meter. That's 11. The picture shows to be smaller, but... 28, 14, 5. Well, let's grab a big one. By that. Okay. A <clears throat> hundred meter? I think the one I've got is only fifty. Where'd you find a hundred at? Or did you mod it? I need to get a I need to get a hundred I mean this 50 meter here uh, it works great but it almost takes forever still <clears throat> of course as big as these fields are man it's just <laughs> it takes a while to get anything done right uh, okay yeah I know that's like man I've got mods that I've had people ask me well, where'd you get this or where'd you get that at and I'm like uh heck dude I don't know I found it somewhere <laughs> 
So, well, let's, go ahead, let's go ahead and shut this guy out. He's done. <clears throat> he is fired. We're just going to leave it there for right now. He's already shut the motor off for me, so that was nice of him. No telling how long he's been full. All right, cool, motor. I appreciate it. safest thing in the world to do right there, but yeah. It's only a game, right? You'll only fly across the map if a train hits you. If you're lucky, maybe it'll fly in the direction you gotta go. But my my luck, it always flies me off the map somewhere, and then I get lost in the intergalactic space. I think we've all done that many a times with the tracks. I remember uh, I was working on actually logging one time, and I threw, uh, it was back when I was playing 17, and I was playing factory farm map, and I was trying to get rid of some trees around a railroad track, and I don't even remember why I was doing that. And I had the Scorpion King over there, and it was a modded Scorpion King to add that. I, I could harvest anything with that piece of junk. And anyhow, yeah, a train come through there because I was using that loco drive, and man, that thing flew, and it flew, and it went way up in the air. I think I passed the hot air balloon, but by the time it hit the ground, it flew me clear off the map, and it just got lost in another weave and kept spinning and spinning, and that was one of those days that I control alt deleted the game, and then came back, <laughs> and lost like an hour's worth of work, but why is that train just sitting there? I thought all the trains ran automatically on here. I didn't turn them off, and I haven't been in them. I wonder if it's because of my vehicle explorer thing. Because I haven't played this map with the vehicle explorer until today. I wish I would have been doing some of my recording back when I used to play 17 because there was some interesting things that happened on 17. Oh crap, we got a sugar beet harvester's full. Yep. Alright, let's leave this. We'll come back and unload that. Let's see. Let's grab that one. Oh, cool, and he's right there for us. Good thing is when he's turned that way, he'll actually stay put. He won't run around on you. That's one thing I wish course play would fix on these guys. On the other harvesters, they stay put until they get unloaded. Completely unloaded. Well, he just shut the motor off too. Oh really? <clears throat> I've only had the map up running for a little over an hour. I've never seen them stop before. I've never paid no attention to them either. So, <clears throat> it is what it is. I've never really used the trains on this map, have you?
Yeah, me either. I just, I don't know. I just never had a use, a reason to use them. I've got all these dump trucks cranked up so high, it doesn't take that long to transfer product. Um, <clears throat> and they're not connected to none of our main silos either. At least that I'm aware of. Did you ever play on uh, Joran's farm on 17? Apparently can't drive. Swipe side, side swipe my own silo. <clears throat> Sorry about me clearing my throat every two seconds. Ever since that cold, I still can't get rid of that cough that I got, and I've been clearing my throat trying to avoid coughing. Okay, cool. I heard that Maverick was going to bring it over, um, but I didn't know if he was actually going to convert it or if he was going to start from scratch. But I haven't heard anything in a while from him. Oh, he is. Okay, cool. That was a really nice map, man, and, and I like that he, he did that for that kid. You know, it, it's sad that that kid never got to play it. I mean, I feel bad for him for that. <coughs> Hold on a second. Let me mute my mic. I'm going to just cough a little bit. Maybe I'll quit clearing my throat. Hold on. Okay, maybe I got that out of my system for a little while. Sorry about that. Yeah, I hadn't seen Maverick do anything in a while. I didn't know what he was up to. I figured he was either nose deep into that or something. I know that uh, Night Cop was, he at one point tried to convert um, that factory farm over to 19 and I didn't watch the videos or anything but I think I know he gave up on it <clears throat> but I heard he mostly gave up on that because he wanted to integrate all the factories into the map and I don't think you can do that with global company all right so let's grab this one Alright, so this is the new harvester. Doesn't look any different other than the fact that it's got that PTO on the back. Where's that damn header? Oh. Parked the wrong direction as always, right? <clears throat> is there a way to fix that where these implements are parked the right direction? Oh, wait a minute. Hold on, maybe it is. Heck, I don't know which way it is. I can't tell. I've never picked up this thing before. Yeah, it is parked backwards. I don't guess there's any way to really fix that, though. Oh, there is. Who's doing that? Here's what this thing's gonna look like. Alright, let's turn this mouse around a little bit. Um, let's see. I'm not even on the right thing. Oh, good God. 
You ever use this cotton header before? Oh, uh, Steven is? I didn't know he... Oh, on that new map that he's building, right? Good God, that's a huge header. Does it got hit detection on the ends? Nope. Well, it makes it easier to travel it around. All right, let's fold that thing up. Good God, that thing's huge. We'll drop the header off at the farm and figure out where we're going to do our next harvest at. I'm still getting used to the steering on this 19 compared to 17. You'd think I'd be used to it by now. Well, that'll be cool when he, uh, he gets that done, but I know he's got a long road ahead of him on that. trying to read that all on Dakota as well yeah yeah in a way I, I, I like the placeable factories but um, at times it'd be just kind of nice just to go in there and just they already be there you know because like I know on Reseville the best way to do it is to um, use one of your other fields. Just pick a field that you don't think you'll use much and just do it that way. Oh, I bet he has headaches with it. Why is this? I've noticed this with these harvesters. They notice how this is just tracking to the left? I can't get it to go straight. Oh well. It is a game. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of like the way that, uh, oh god, I cannot see, I cannot see. I love those trees, but I don't. <laughs> um, yeah, I like the way that Maverick did it where you had to build and uh, purchase a lot of factories on it. I know a lot of people hated that, but I thought it was kind of cool because, I mean, in all honesty, I mean, look at the, the farming game itself. You don't own, own this whole map in the beginning. You own a little bit and some equipment. That's it. Where I'm gonna put this header so I don't forget where I put it. Probably right out here. Let's just. No, I don't want to do that because the trees are behind me. We'll drop it in front of the trees. That looks as good as any place. <clears throat> Yeah, it does. Um, it really gives it more life of realism and whatnot. It's funny how we want realistic things like that, but then we want unrealistic equipment, right? I'm going to figure out where we're going to harvest next. 26 is done. Oh, crap. I'm on the wrong deal. Hold on a second here. I got my notes, but I got it flipped on the wrong page. I got to get on the right page here so I can see what I got. <clears throat> hey, you know, that would be kind of cool. Have a header rack, kind of like, like a pallet rack for just headers. That would make a lot of sense. wonder where I can find some of those at. Or does anybody even have any out? I'm not good with Blender. I know how to mod a little bit, but I have not figured Blender out to make that stuff. All right, we're gonna go to 26 miles. Let's go ahead and drive this old girl there. I don't think it. I think it'll take too long doing 65 mile an hour. What do you think? Yeehaw! Yes, I did Dukes a Hazard on that. <laughs> 
Man, I still can't drive. Heck with it. We'll just drive in the grass. Speaking of that, did you add, add um, growable grass? Because none of this is growing out here, except maybe on the fields. I haven't tried on a field yet. Oh, they do. I'm going to have to Google that later. Because that might be a good idea to have some of them laying around somewhere. Yeah, I realized here not long ago that the uh, all the uh, barn buildings there around the, the home farm, you can put stuff. Whoops. Told you, man, I can't drive today. Of course, I'm sitting there looking at chat. This is what's weird. This harvester, if you watch, it tracks to the left. I get it straight, like right there would be almost straight. Actually, it was going to the right, now it's going back to the left. There's something wrong with that. I gotta change that timer, it's spamming too fast. Okay, cool. Yeah, um... Crap. I'm almost forgetting his name now. Matthew. Um, I was messaging him here a couple weeks ago, and that was one thing he was talking about. Um, yeah, I think the nodes are off, too. Um... But yeah, he was saying he wanted to get um, growable grass in here. I told him that I could probably help him out with it, with what, what I can do at least. But I know you're working on it too, so I don't want to get in the way. Oh, thanks for the follow. Uh, can you read that from here? Wired Soul? Thanks for following me. Doing good, Wired. How are you doing? Oh, okay, you added the code to the XML. All right. Good deal, man. Yeah, I'm not normally on during the week. Um, <laughs> my uh, work truck has broke down right now, so I'm waiting on parts. So I figured, why not? I'll get on your stream a little, right? Let's see. Oh, wrong one. Still the wrong one. There we go. Yeah, it does. I um, I spent $900 on Summit last night ordering parts. I got to put ball joints and tie rod ends, and I'm gonna go ahead and change the shocks while I'm at it. It's a uh, 2009 um, three-quarter ton Dodge. I use it to haul RVs with. Oh man, this thing is virtually slow. Yeah, it's a pretty nice truck. Um, I bought that truck in either 2012 or 13, and I went back to hauling RVs um, about nine months after I bought it, so probably in 2013. And uh, I quit driving it for a while. I, in 2016, I bought a 379 Pete, um, 379, 63-inch sleeper. It was a really cool truck, and. Uh, I got tired of being on the road, so I sold the big truck and went back to driving the other truck. <clears throat> Which one, the the Dodge or the um, the Peterbilt? Oh, I've still got the Dodge. Um, it's sitting out here in the the driveway right now. It just needs the ball joints done. To, the 
wheel if you uh, check the ball joints and jack it up it um, they move about two inches right now yeah it is pretty bad and it's four-wheel drive and one of the axle shaft shaft u joints is about to blow up so I got one of those in the cart and I've never changed the shocks on it. The truck's got almost 300,000 miles and I still haven't changed the shocks. So <laughs> I'm uh, putting a brand new Bilstein 5100 series on it all the way around, including the stabilizer. But I can't complain about that truck, man. It's I don't like the motor, or at least the design they did on that 6.7. Um, that was one of the earlier six sevens, but <clears throat> man, that truck has been a great truck. I've never had to tear the motor apart. I've never done injectors or anything like that. I've just drove it. It's been a very good truck. So I'm not going to complain. It had, uh, I think it had 31,000 on my, 31,000 miles on it when I bought it. Oh, Mater, um, <clears throat> we're beyond busy already. Um, I don't know if you know anything about um, the RV industry, period. Um, whoops, wrong key. We, um, we had month in this past weekend, and we traditionally run three yards that hold a lot of trailers. And we had to open up two yards that we don't even use anymore. And... I think on Friday each yard got dispatched somewhere between three to four hundred trailers. We have all five yards packed tight and um, we have basically no room and my boss actually called me earlier today if I and to see if I had my truck fixed or not I told him no and he said that we had already gotten dispatched 50 trailers just for our yard alone. Oh you worked for Fleetwood oh that's cool. Fleetwood builds some decent trailers. Um, I mainly the yard that I work for, I haul a lot of Heartland products, and I also haul uh, a little bit of Forest River. Oh, and the motorhomes. Yeah, I've never dealt with the motorhomes much. Um, we get a bunch of motorhomes as well, mostly Jayco's. Um, but we have um, two guys with tow cars and then other guys that ride with them and they, they take care of the ones they bring to the yard. So I don't know how to fool with them. Which is actually kind of nice because they don't pay as much as what I make doing the bumper pull traders and the fifth wheels. Fifth wheels are a nightmare for me because they're, I got a three quarter ton truck with airbags on it and all the fifth wheels I pull are the uh, the three axle uh, toy haulers. That's got the gen packs and everything already on them. So you know they're what fifteen thousand pound trailers. <laughs> yeah, fancy shoebox, that's for sure. Um, the ones that I actually really liked the most were the ones that Jayco built. Um, not the toy hauler, but just the the big fifth wheels that were really nice. Those were. Uh, they called North Points. They were really nice units, and they were built really nice. And then the Montanas are built really nice, but man, those things are heavy as well. When I first started doing RVs, I did nothing but Forest River products, and I used to pull a lot of those part models, the 44-footers, and man, those are a nightmare to pull. It doesn't matter what kind of truck you're driving, those are a nightmare to pull. Yeah, it's cool that you've been in the RV industry as well. <clears throat> were you over here in, uh, <clears throat> dang, sorry about that. Um, were you over here in the Indiana area or um, over, uh, I know they build them out in Oregon too, don't they? plant in Pennsylvania I know there was a motorhome plant out there I knew there was um, mobile homes out there 
the, 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 yeah, the mobile homes out there. We got a, um, when I worked at Bennett, we had a, a, a terminal out there in Pennsylvania somewhere. I've never been to it. Uh, my roommate, um, me and him have been friends for several years. He bought my uh, Peterbilt, and he's working for Bennett doing just the power-only stuff. He's hauling just whoever's traders need to be hauled. So he's he's liking it pretty well right now. Oh, okay. I'm familiar with that. the name of that town. I, I can't picture where it's at in the top of my head. It's been so long since I've been to Pennsylvania. But yeah, I live up here in, uh, in Elkhart, Indiana right now. I'm originally from Florida. I'm just up here for work, you know. There ain't no money down in Florida to be made. All right, and as always, we are going to cheat. Oh, that's a new harvester. Change some of my settings here. Uh, okay, you live over in Virginia. My sister used to live uh, out in Williamsburg. My uh, brother-in-law's in the Coast Guard. Let's see what that gets us. <clears throat> That's going to be a huge field. And it froze. Got to love course play sometimes. Okay, yeah, it's just north of you then. <clears throat> I used to take campers over to a dealer there in Ashland. Um, I went out there two times. The second time I went out there, they changed their procedure. Mind you, this was back in probably 2014 or 13. They make you wash the trailers. You can't get it pre-washed anywhere near there. You have to wash it in their parking lot. And what really irritated me about it was is that they had a real nice building had about five or six bays that you could that they was washing units in and detail them and everything they made me wash mine in the sun out in july you know in front of the building so you know i told myself look i'm not going to come out here and give myself a heart attack just to deliver you a trailer and that's just not worth my time all right let's get this guy to work i still got to figure out what's something to do with that harvester park <clears throat> Holy crap, that's almost a four hour course right there. Yeah. Dealerships like that, I don't go back to. A buddy of mine, um, he he drives a uh, Holland tow. I don't know if you know what that is. He can, he's can he got one up on the back deck of the truck, like on a flatbed, and he tows one behind it as well. And he took us a, a pair out to a dealer in California somewhere. I don't remember what the name of the dealer is. And he had an appointment time. And he got out there, and they were still checking somebody else in. They said they'd get back with him. He was out there for six hours just to just to check in two trailers. And all we're responsible for is exterior damage, but they have to do a whole list of basically a thorough inspection inside and out for warranty-wise. And, yeah. The, the part of the uh, delay was that they told him that they had to pull each trailer around individually, um... Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, they had to wash each trailer and then inspect them. So, and of course they hand washed them. Yeah, that hundred meter. Yeah, I'll have to change all my course plays, and that's that's no big deal. I mean, it's easy. Um, yeah, I'm curious what that thing looks like because <clears throat> I thought this thing was wild the way it unfolded, and of course that um, cotton header does the same thing. But what I am going to do. Because I don't think I'm going to be on here for no four hours. I'm not planning it at least. I'm going to go ahead and save this course. Sorry, I had to readjust the headset. <laughs> and it freezes again. Oh. <clears throat> 
love it when I get the wheel of death up there. <clears throat> yeah, I get done with this here. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get that other harvester moved. Um, kind of go from there. Let's see. Actually, I'm going to move that down there anyways. So, close that out. <clears throat> go ahead and take this back to the farm. I'm just going to leave it at the farm somewhere. I can actually put get that header in and put it in the building. Get it out of the way. Actually put a building to use for once. <clears throat> uh, yeah, speaking of things that are 100 meter, I um, <clears throat> I found the... I had a 100 meter um, plow. They had a... It was a plow and cultivator on one pack. You probably remember it. And um, I used that for a long time on 17 and I've seen that somebody converted it and I brought it over it works all right um, I don't really have any complaints with it but um, the the textures didn't seem to be updated and things like that so I put it to the side I thought well maybe I'll update the textures maybe add a, add a color palette to it and whatnot because you can only get it in green Oh. What do you think about the uh, that new DLC that's coming out? That's got that uh, that that uh, cedar with the air cart and everything. What do you think about that? <clears throat> yeah, from the the. The pictures and videos I've seen, um, there's a YouTuber, uh, DJ Goham has showed it off a couple of times in his videos, uh, just the, you know, what, I guess whatever he's gotten from Giants or whatnot. It looks cool, but man, it looks like a behemoth at the same time. I don't think it'll work very well with AI helpers. Yeah, I'm planning on getting it too. Um, I got into a little bit of a money pinch there for a while, and I, um didn't have the money well I had the money but I didn't need to spend the money on the DLCs so the only DLC I have is that homer that they gave us I'm gonna I need to get all the DLCs I actually was planning on getting the DLCs for this and um, I need a couple of DLCs for American Truck Sim and Euro Truck Sim that I was wanting to get as well and I thought, well, all that money I made working over the weekend, I could do it. <laughs> well, after spending $900 last night, <laughs> I don't think I'm going to yet. <clears throat> I was thinking about something. As big as this map is, I think we need to make those trains a little bit longer. What do you think? I know I didn't show the camera long enough on it. This harvester is doing the same thing. It's it's tracking to the left as well as the other one. So that one, the other one I've got is a copy of this one, more or less. Yeah, it started tracking back. And yeah, it is what it is. It just makes it a little bit harder to operate. Yeah, I have to agree with you. If we actually use the darn things, it might be worthwhile, but really not using them, it's kind of pointless. I don't know. I guess it would depend upon if other people really used it, because I know I don't, but... See, like, when I'm off stream and whatnot, and I'm not recording, um, like, equipment like this, I would have never drove it from field 28 up to the farm, or to the, yeah, our farmhouse area. I would have just teleported it to this field and then drove it the rest of the way. But... I'm trying to be a halfway realistic farmer. Halfway, that is. <clears throat> I 
and I guess that's where it would benefit um, if you're using more standard size equipment which I don't know anybody that does the trains would probably come in handy because they uh, they have a larger capacity easier to get it from point A to point B I guess Oh really? That's one thing I never did. I, I a lot of times maps um, when I first join the map, I'll, I'll find the train and hop in the train and just kind of take the train scenic route and just be able to kind of see the map. I remember doing that on I think it was PV Industries. I thought it was pretty neat. Man, I don't think this shed's big enough for this thing. I might as well just park it sideways and open the header, right? No, I'm kidding. Ain't gonna do that. Um, I could unfold this header and park it in here. That has a, that's a huge barn. I want one of these in real life. With a higher ceiling so I can have a lift to work on the truck. <laughs> <clears throat> Oh, so it was stopping halfway up. Yeah, I never. You know what? We got workers working, but let's 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 go jump in a train. I don't even know what train it is that you're talking about, but let's see. Where's this one at? This looks like the. Judging by the map, this kind of looks like maybe we were just talking about. This is the start of a hill. backing it up first. It didn't want to go anywhere, on the cruise at least. It did not want to take off when it was stopped on that hill right there, man. This is the one, and I probably have the unupdated one, right? Oh wow, it's, and this is, this got empty cars and everything and it's struggling. That'd be one reason why the train would stop. <clears throat> oh, I still got the cruise set to go forward. We're going backwards now. Oh. So if you make a full run at this, can you can you make it up there? Let's try that. <coughs> I never noticed that, man. Is there two trains that go that way on that, or um, just one? Oh wow, this thing only does 50 in reverse. All right. That's probably far enough back. It shows it goes 68 on the cruise, but I'm starting to wonder. All right, we'll just set the cruise again. Oh, so it goes up and circles around and comes right back down that same hill. Like I said, I've never messed with the tracks on here. All right, so let's see what she does now. Okay. Okay, that happened, that worked a lot better. Only to 45 at the top. Yeah, see, this is the kind of stuff that I like to do, and I like doing just kind of like the little scenic ride, you know, looking around at the different places. Like, I've actually never went in there. What is that, the BTA? Yeah, looks like the BTA. Yeah, with all the bunkers. That's a lot of bunkers. Who else got all the trees? 
I've never noticed those stacks being flamed up like that. Have I really not been paying attention? <laughs> oh yeah, because I was empty. Loaded, yeah. If I was, if this thing would have been loaded, I'd never made it up that hill. I had to get a wrecker and pull it up. Now, if I'm remembering right, um, what you changed is on the side that I'm heading to and the side going back, right? Or is it all the way around this? Yeah, those stacks are cool like that. I really gotta change the timer on that stream lab. That's kind of my fault. Okay, so that's all logging. Or what's behind me, I guess, right? I didn't remember that road right there. Where does that road back there go to? Oh, it goes in a cave. <laughs> I almost want to go down there now. <laughs> yeah, I, I originally messaged Matt about, um, you know, posting my videos to his page that I do of this map, and I didn't want to post it and him get mad at me. He said you know, he, he wants me to go ahead and post them. Huh. Yeah, when I start testing that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to test that with none of my mods under a new um, save game. I want to start fresh. Oh, that's the second way at the top without the windy. Oh, the windy road. Oh, so there is a straight road that goes... Oh, man. I went up that curvy road with a flatbed haul and a harvester, man. That was a joke sometimes. I mean, I made it. Yeah, I know my plan is just to, to start off with a fresh map um, and no mods, just to start it. <laughs> yeah. Uh. yeah, I'm going to do it with, with pretty much no mods at, at the beginning. And, uh, oh, there's grass growing right here. I don't know if you can see that too good. This train's twisting like this, but there's all grass up here that's grown. Oh man, come on. I thought I'd get up to 100 going down this hill. Oh man, this train's broke. Got to sell it now. All right. Um, let's see, what's the other train? Huh. And look where this train stopped at. It's blocking that road. Now, I'm, well, let me get this thing moved real quick. I'm going to jump out of this, this train in a minute. I just want to move it where... Okay, that's probably too far. I really don't want to get run over here. Um, now, a question for you, because you might know a little better than me. Um, is there eventually supposed to be production for um, these greenhouses and some of the other places on the map? Do you know? Was that kind of the idea in mind, or... Because I noticed these greenhouses. Earlier I was looking at... Um, looked like a pallet factory and uh, carton factory and stuff. 
I think this is supposed to be, yeah, this is sugar. Yeah, that one's sugar. <clears throat> okay. I mean, if anything, it still makes cool decorations, you know. But that's going to be the first thing. I mean, somebody walks up to this and sees, oh, sugar factory. And the, then, you know, they're going to be yelling at somebody wanting to know where to put everything in at. <clears throat> I think that, I think a lot of these buildings are cool. Um, if you saw earlier, well, I think you just came in when I was over there by the, the pallet area. And I love the way those wood-looking buildings look, man. They look cool. I love, like, old log buildings and stuff, log cabins and such. Oh, this is a cell point now. Okay. Well, that's cool. Hmm. Yeah, there's a cell point uh, that I, I used to go over to here somewhere. It takes a long damn time. You know what? Well, I probably didn't speed it up by doing that because now it wants to save it. Come on, why'd you do that? Yeah, this forest mill right here. I used to, I was selling a bunch of stuff here. I think, I think I was selling potatoes there. I had like a bunch of potatoes, so I just took them over there and sold them. <clears throat> yeah, that's all cool, man. I mean, it is what it is. Um, I like the production and factory stuff, but... Um, you know, if it doesn't have it in there, I mean, well, just give it, to, give you this idea. I mean, I like the Receiveville map. I like um, the stuff that Dashnet's put out with all the factories. Um, I really haven't played them. Um, it's not that I'm not interested in it, but I found enough fun just doing this right here. The only thing that I've actually wished that this map had that it doesn't have is multi-fruit. That's the only thing that I wish it had was multi-fruit, just to give you some more variety of things to plant and whatnot. But that's the only thing that I actually would want extra in this map. Well, in the mining, um, and the mining would be pretty cool. Uh, I guess somebody stopped. Who are you? Not you. Not you. You. Sorry, I talked to myself quite a bit, apparently. Alright, so this guy's done. I'm just gonna... Well, I'll just leave him there. Heck with it. <coughs> Oops, I the wrong one. Yeah, yeah, making spots on a map is pretty easy. I mean, I know, um, uh, which one is it that I watched? Um, Nick the Hick, was, they was playing on, uh, Dixie's map, and they just basically took, um, I don't know, it was like Field 29 or something like that, and just made it a, an industrial park is all they did. So, you don't really have to have placeable areas, but it makes it nice. And I noticed, um... When I was on Wild West, there's some pretty big placeable areas, too. The only thing that I had placeable in here for a while, but I never ever put it down, was, um, like, the food mixers and um, grass dryer, stuff like that for animals. But I'm using that animal helper right now, and it takes care of all that for me, so I just said the heck with it and I removed the mods. I'm currently running, I don't know, somewhere between 40 and 50 mods right now. Guys, emptied out. <clears throat> that guy is gonna be here a while. Come here, come here. Yeah, he's got over three hours left. <coughs> yeah, with this map, man, I, I love how open it is. Um, 
all the fields are flat with the exception of six and seven to my knowledge um, but yeah everything's flat it's all wide open um, what trees are on here I like the, the decoration of the trees there's times that I cuss those uh, those pinkish looking trees I don't even know what those are called around the uh, the home farm there because it it interferes with me driving because I drive zoomed out like this um, but I mean it's not enough for me to want to try to even cut them down or and I'm definitely not going to go into the map and you know into GE and remove them not unless somebody else does it but oh you did make some hills in the bigger fields well, that's cool no I, I like the hills um, you know the, the the square fields is what I really prefer um, I could care less if it's got a hill or not um, the ones that have like the really weird curvy ends on it and stuff like that those are fun for a while but then after a while it gets boring I don't know why but at least to me it does I mean everybody's got their thing but yeah hills and the bigger fields yeah that's cool yeah, I'm going to be checking that out here soon. Um, I've been live. Well, the live stream started almost two hours ago, but I've technically been live for about an hour and a half. So I may have to shut this down for too long. Yeah, yeah, it is cool. Alright. <clears throat> Get this stage back over there for him. I don't think I'm going to have to worry about that soybean harvester for a while. He's only got like a six and a half million capacity. I, I don't think I'm going to have to empty him for probably an hour. <laughs> That capacity is a little overkill, in my opinion. There was another ver another option. It was only two options: a six hundred fifty thousand or six million, six and a half million. So, I figured just go big or go home, right? Yeah, it is a lot. And the downside is this thing only holds um, a million. That's all I've got it set for. I mean, I could make it hold more than that. But when you start getting into stoop, anything more than a million, it's just starting to get stupid at that point. You're, you're taken away from the gameplay itself. But at least with this having a million capacity, I can hold a lot, but yet I'm still doing a lot because there's so much to do. Yeah, I might edit that one. and um, Oh, crap, that reminds me. I know what I forgot to do. Um, sorry, I, I got sidetracked there for a second. This harvester, um, we got to take this thing to the shop. Right now, it is set up at 250,000 pound or 250,000 liter capacity, but there's a cotton setting in the capacities. I need to change that. Sadly, I don't know what the capacity will be. It just it just says cotton. That's going to be a long drive, isn't it? Oh, that's not bad. A little bit, but not horrible. We'll go do that. We'll go get that done and um, maybe get this thing brought back. Yeah, these trees. See, right here is what I'm talking about. I can't see nothing. And I just ran into that. I think I ran into... Yeah, I ran into the, the train arm. Damn county's going to come after me for repairs. That's the only thing right there is why I don't like those trees. But other than that, I love them. They're beautiful. Okay, this is going to take a while at 32 mile an hour. Uh, so you got any more plans for the map other than what you've already done so far? service vehicle you mean like a repair truck one that goes around and fixes the equipment 
Okay. Oh, I've got a repair truck. It's a cheesy one. Let me see. Hold on. Uh, where do I park it at? I've got this one. The, the little Freightliner. And then I've got the toolbox under the back of it. Um, and I painted it navy blue. Because my favorite color is blue. Um, it gets the job done. I driving near this. Yeah. <laughs> I'll hook me up. You know, if you got if you got something better than what I've got, I'm more than willing to try it out. You know, um, <laughs> like that hundred meter header. I'm I'm definitely gonna be putting that thing to use. Um. I do have another service truck. It is a uh, Peterbilt box truck. Um, but the only reason I don't use it is because uh, when you open up the doors to turn on the service part, um, it drops down that, um, that ladder and then you can't drive it after that. I always leave it on until I get done fixing all the implements of the you know, tractor or something like that. That's the only reason I don't use it. Okay, I'll be checking it out when I get off here then. Yeah, I'm always up for toys. Um, I've got Expendable. Uh, well, it came off of Expendables page. I'm not sure who did it, but I got that 68 Bronco. Looks kind of like my 70 Bronco, except my 70 Bronco doesn't has more rust. <laughs> <coughs> Only good thing at this speed is you can turn without slowing down. Yeah, there's the uh, the truck with the low boy. That's actually for hauling this truck. That's harvester. Well, we can grab it while we're over here then. We can get back a lot faster. <laughs> Oh, it even does washing? Oh, heck yeah. The only reason I have dirt turned off is because I don't feel like um, driving it back to the farm to wash it. It's the only reason. Uh, well, might as well repair it while we're here. Customize. So, design plane. Oh, capacity. Yeah, it's sitting at 250K. And then there's a cotton capacity right here, but I don't know. It still shows 250,000. So it looks like 250,000 capacity on cotton. I'm going to try it out for doing the cotton. I can do cotton on the Terados as well, but I'm just kind of curious if this might be a little bit better. So. Oh, I changed my zooms. So it goes on a hook lift. You mean the hook lift truck or trailer, right? It's kind of like a box that goes on a hook lift, like a container, so to speak. <clears throat> oh, car. I think I'm not playing American Truck Sim right now. I'd be in all kind of trouble with damage. Now this truck here is one that I like. It's uh, I love the sounds of it. Let's see. Oops. Wrong button. A wrong piece to drop.
Oh, that Peterbilt? Yeah. Um, I'm sure you've seen that one before. That thing's got a lot of options. You can change, you can do uh, three different headlight settings, setups on it. You can do either the 389, 379, and I think a 367. So it's pretty nice. I think that's as far back as it fits. <clears throat> Barely fits on there, but it fits, right? Okay, you have it. Yeah, sometimes with my, I have bad headaches a lot, and sometimes the, the whistling of the turbo and stuff kind of gets to my headaches, but I still love it. Right, I guess we should turn our beacons on. sounds of this it reminds me of my Peterbilt that I sold my roommate because <coughs> my my Peterbilt was, it had a sleeper on it <clears throat> it was the same body style as this and uh, it had a straight five inch uh, straight five inch stacks on it had the uh, 3406e caterpillar in it with an 18 speed that truck will run 100 mile an hour Oh yeah, gotta love the sound on this. You know, car, you're going a little slow if an oversized passes you, right? <clears throat> the other thing I love about this truck is how well it pulls this trailer. Oops. I overdid that one, but it is what it is. But I love how well it pulls this trailer when it's loaded up. And somebody else has decided to quit working. I don't know who. Whoa. I'm just asking to do a head-on collision, aren't I? <clears throat> yeah, that little dump truck that I'm using is that uh, is that Ford that can be either a dump truck, hook lift, semi truck, and whatnot. And, but the problem is, is that when I hook it to this trailer, I can't see. When I hook it to this trailer, it won't turn. It'll, it'll turn just a little bit and it, it's like the mud flap hangs up on the trailer, it won't turn it. So I think the nodes are a little bit off on it too. Um, I think we're just gonna leave the truck and trailer sitting out here on the drive. Or we could just park it inside. Why not? We'll just park it inside. I think the door's tall enough. Yeah, the door's tall enough. Um, am I in the wrong barn? I don't see the header. Okay, cool. Yeah, I plan on testing that in Seasons. Um, I gotta check and see if there's another update for Seasons. Seasons is something I haven't really played a whole lot of, but I'll definitely test it in Seasons for you. Um, unless you just don't need me to do the Seasons part, but I'm pretty sure you do. salt spreader and a plow yeah the um hold on a second here um that ford and this is what unless you're talking about something different this ford here um i mean 
semi configuration. There's a hook lift, flatbed. Um, you can put a UAL on the flatbed for auto load, and then it's got the dump bed. Um, tires doesn't matter. Wheels. It's got several stacks. Um, side parts. Well, depends on the chassis. Let's try and stretch it more. But anyhow, um, yeah, there's auto load. And then it has this option here for snow equipment. And you can put a tailgate spreader on here or none. And then I think it's under the bumpers. Maybe, maybe not. Bumpers, yeah. Bumper standard, flat, slanted, bull guard, obviously. Extended, curved. It's got a lot of bumpers. Um, but it's got the plow mount bumper. And then it has the plow mount bumper that's got the lights, which... The only thing I don't like about it is it just bolts the lights to the hood. You know, the top of this hood right here. They should be more in front of the hood real but it, it beats the hell out of nothing right oh you do have this one I'm sorry well I'm sitting there showing this off to you for no reason right <laughs> well maybe somebody else will watch this and be like oh that's cool I've never seen that <clears throat> all right we got to go unload that guy so that I figure out what I did with the darn truck this is the issue when you get too many vehicles you have this whole list of vehicles to scroll through or tab through depending upon how you do things <clears throat> yeah I'm actually kind of anxious to check out those uh, those goodies you're sending to me oh hell I've been on here for over two hours <laughs> oh crap well it's the main thing is it's fun you know and you know I've got I've been chatting with you and um, you know you're hanging out so it makes the time fly that's for sure you know as long as it's fun i'll keep going it really doesn't matter to me but you know if it's kind of boring and not a lot going on or anybody talking it's just nah leave it at an hour and go on well, i'm glad you enjoyed it man um do you want me to live stream any of the testing i mean at first i'm just going to open it up and get familiar with it first but do you want me to live stream anything i'm doing on there Okay. Well, I'm, what I'll do first is, like I said, I'm going to open up the map with just no mods and just kind of start from there. And then um, I'm going to slowly introduce mods because obviously I'm going to need course play. I'm going to need some of my big toys. I don't need everything I've got, like the Bronco. I don't have to have that. Um, it's just a cool looking little truck. But And the trailers and stuff like that. I don't have to have all those. I can teleport everything for, for starting. Yeah, yeah. The main thing is getting to know the map. I got, I got to figure out all your changes. Um, that way I don't look like a noob when I'm trying to show everybody where, where everything is, you know. Because, hell, at, at times I'm still discovering stuff on here, you know, because I was, I was showing off the map of that, that hill. I was showing off that windy hill on one of my maps. And I, um, I, I uh, you know, I, I went to the um, one of the animal areas just by a click to it instead of teleporting and then I walked over the bridge and everything to where the hill goes down and kind of showed that and then I went over where the dam is and showed that and then dummy me I didn't even show the military base and I think the military base is one of the cool things on here be kind of cool to be able to jump in one of them airplanes and go for a ride you know <clears throat> Go in there and talk to the general and say, hey, man, I need to borrow this because I need to, like, fly somewhere. Or I just need a helicopter to deliver my harvester to Field 7. <laughs> <coughs> it would definitely make it more e interesting if you could do that. But I know that that is way out of the picture right now. That's going to require mods.
Okay, so it did get moved, but it's still there. That's cool. Yeah, I thought that was cool, you know, because it's... Man, there's so much detail in there with, with all the planes and everything that's there. I mean, there's a lot of detail. I thought it was really cool. Oh, it's down by the big ramp? Okay. Yeah, I'll just... I'll have to just... Basically, I'm gonna prob I probably will load it up with the Bronco, and that way I got at least a cool vehicle to ride around in, and just go ride around and check the map out. Start in one corner and go all the way around it, check out everything in between. <clears throat> Sadly, I'm gonna end up losing this save game, but I've had a lot of fun on it, you know, and I do want to see the new stuff you've added, so... <clears throat> Um, I probably need to get, well, I don't have to grab one of the modded ones right now, but I know I'm going to have, I know I'm gonna have to, uh, yeah, for the mines, I'm going to have to get, uh, probably a wheel loader. I'd rather use a modded one. I've actually got a, I think it's a man truck that, um, I've got a man truck that has a hook lift that I was able to put a grain box on it and it has a three point on the front and I was able to hook up oh, I can't remember what the name of that one is it looks kind of like the Brooks um, stump grinder but it's called like a Frazier or something like that and it will pick up all kind of stuff off the ground and I used to use that on uh, PV Industries for picking up um, you know uh, ore and all that stuff on that map so all right, I gotta figure out which one's done here. See, that's confusing. 8400R doesn't tell me anything. It ain't that guy. It's one of the damn tractors. This one? Really? I'll be honest with you. I did was not expecting this guy to be done today. Wait a minute. Is he done? Yeah, he's done. Yeah, this this uh, this field right here has got some serious hills on it. All right, he's done though. Yeah, I was just looking for something easier to do the mining stuff with. Um, the way they changed the steering for, for 19 has made it easier for me to operate um, the articulated steering on the tractors and like the wheel loaders and whatnot. So I'm more accustomed to them in 19 than I was in 17. But um, yeah, the steering is still throwing me off at times when it comes to just driving a tractor or that dump truck. So, but... Yeah, I wanted something easier to use in a wheel loader versus the wheel loader in a, you know, an end dump or something like that. Um, I've tried using, setting up the belt system, but that hasn't worked the greatest for me either. I mean, it works, it just doesn't give me the best luck. I guess we'd call it luck. So... Wow, I actually got that lined up right the first time. And I got that on stream that I can actually drive a tractor and line up on a field. Wow. That's uh, that's almost amazing right there. Almost. Oh, we need a change. Do I really want to do this field in sugar cane? Why not? I mean, what's it going to kill, right? I'm going to sit here and plan all this stuff, and then I'm going to end up not being back on the save game. <laughs> That's what's going to end up happening, I think.
I saved really fast. Holy crap. But hey, if you don't mind, um, how does all my audio sound? I haven't really chatted with anybody doing streaming. Yeah, I might be back. I just want to make sure the audio ain't too loud on one end or the other. You know, is the game too loud? Am I too loud? You know, yeah, thanks. is it all good? All right. I've, I've, there's been YouTube videos I tried to watch that it sounds like they're eating the microphone or sounds like they're, you know, behind me, like 10 feet. <laughs> okay, cool. I, I played with it for several hours and tried to get it right. And, uh, I must not change that setting. Oh, well. <clears throat> yeah, I spent I spent quite a bit of time setting up the audio, the um, the stream and whatnot. Um, the only thing I don't like is where I've got that logo at on the left side of the screen, and the only reason it's there is number one, I didn't want it covering up glance, and number two, if I ever do use a webcam, it would be in the bottom corner of the webcam if I ever do that, and I doubt I will. I might move that. I might try to put that over like under the clock or something. That might be a better place for it. Just makes it easier to keep people from stealing videos, you know. <clears throat> All right. So what else we got going on? Oh, we got that limer um, that I parked, or actually I left him on the field, didn't I? Yeah, that guy. All right, let's see what needs to be limed. Yeah, I think I'm just going to keep rolling right now with with the live stream for a little bit. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, maybe that. Okay. Yeah, I got to take that limer to 26 then. Good God, it's going to take this guy and this uh, plowing up here forever. All right. Yeah, it's, it's a shame in, in this community we're in, the number of people that do things like that. I've seen a, a post on um, Kaz's Facebook page. Um... I guess somebody did something to one of his maps from what I read. I'm not going to repeat what I read on there, but, you know, just somebody that does something like that is just, it's uncalled for, you know. I forget this thing doesn't stop as good. Um, well, there's my header trailer. You ever seen that one? The little gooseneck trailer? Oh, they made a Russian. Did they take all the English out or did they just add Russian to it? Okay. I like that header trailer. The only thing I don't like about it is it doesn't seem like the header locks down because if I don't put it all the way against the neck, it will slide forward and um, it has no lights on it, no trailer lights at all. No turn signals, no nothing, but that's it. And I'm, I could probably fix it and, and editor and whatnot, but, you know, and I might, I don't know. Something like that, I don't feel like I should be screwing with it because then if I make it right and then somebody else goes and downloads the original then they're going to be ticked at me because the lights don't work okay so they just added but they still did it without the permission without Kaz's permission <clears throat> I mean, it's one thing to edit something and use it for private use, like I've done. These, All these mods that I have that I have edited, they're mine. I've never given them to anybody, and I never will. 
You can beg me all day long. You could offer me a million dollars. I still ain't going to give it to you. You know, I'm, I'm not that kind of person. Here I am reading chat and about having a head-on collision again. I'm getting good at that, man. <laughs> I've got to learn how to read chat. I'm running a, 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 I got twin monitors on this computer. So I've got the game on one and everything else is on the other screen. You would think I'd be able to do a better job, but. <laughs> and I'm sorry about that Streamlabs popping it up as often. I got to adjust the timer on it. I think it's set at like five minutes. I need to probably set it to like every 10 or 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah, do two things at once. Ah, crap! Uh, but not read chat at the same time. Come on, come on, baby. Can I flip you? Come on. You can do it. Oh. Four wheel drive. There we go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, actually, when I've done modding and stuff like that, I've had Giants Editor on one screen, and I'd have other stuff on other screens. You know, trying to just make it a lot easier to, to go through. Or like when you're doing XML work. Two hundred dollars in wages. I think I'm paying the workers too much. Yeah, I don't think I could do modding on just one screen. Well, actually, I've tried. Um, I've got a gaming laptop whenever I'm out away from home, and every time I've tried to do any kind of modding work on that, number one, the computer just can't handle it. It's too slow. And then I've only got one screen, and it's smaller. But that's only got like a 17 and a half inch or something like that. I've got twin 21s on this computer. And I'm actually thinking about going bigger. Thinking about it, but don't know if I will. <laughs> That's a lot. Keep one. Up. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> we have not arrived. <clears throat> I'm going to fill 26, not 25. I saw that lime on the ground. I'm like, wait a minute. I just drive out here for nothing. Oh, you got 232s? Yeah, I noticed that. <laughs> yeah, it's like I'm used to these right now, and then when I go get on my laptop, uh, right now it's at my mom's house in Ohio, and I'll go and get on it. I'm like, oh my god, it's so small. Is, is this a tablet or is this still a computer? And then I'll come home and I'll be used to it, and then I'll get back here and go and get on this. I'm like, oh my god, I got a big screen now. 
Uh, you know what? I'm just going to shut him off. I'm going to leave him here for right now. Course generation for this field with this Limer is probably going to take a little while. And I sadly, I need to end this because it's been going a good long while. I've had a lot of fun though. So, but yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and shut this down, man. I really appreciated you showing up and the other guy. Sadly, I've already forgotten names, but um, I don't know if they're still here or not. But man, I appreciate you showing up, and um, yeah, I'm going to jump out of this map here in a few minutes, and uh, I'm going to go check out that other map, and yeah, if I see anything, I'll let you know. If uh, everything looks good, I might um, I might try to stream it tonight or tomorrow. See you later, man. Have a good one. I'll catch you next time.